Joseph James D'Angelo worked as a police officer in Exeter from the year 1973 to 1976. In the year 1976, he was endorsed to the post of sergeant and was in the custody of the Joint Attack on the Burglary Program, prearranged by the Exeter Police Department. From the year 1976 to 1979, he worked in Auburn in Sacramento. While working there, he was detained for shoplifting, and he was found to be involved in the robbery of a hammer and dog repellent from the store. After the incident, he was expelled from the police force. There is no data about his life for a decade after his discharge from the police department. From the year 1990 to 2017, he worked as a truck mechanic at a delivery center for the store named Save Mart Supermarkets. So guys, in this video, you will see all the ins and outs about the crime story of the Golden State Killer. But before we jump in, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates. Joseph began his illegal activities as early as 1974, when he was still working in the police service. He was accountable for one murder and numerous burglaries that were dedicated in and around Vesalia. The local media named the suspect as Vesalia Ransacker. His method of the process was breaking into houses and robbery of low priced items and also coins, leaving behind treasured things and sprinkling the clothing and additional items around the house. Around the year 1976, he started pledging bigger crimes and moved from robberies to rape. He altered his area of the process too. He moved to Sacramento and started to target the women who lived alone. He selected houses, which had exposed spaces nearby so that he could go out and escape quickly. The invader was given the name East Area Rapist. He now became bolder with each new crime. He pounced on couples and blindfolded them, and then tied them with shoestrings. After raping the female targets, he spent hours at their house and spent the food from their kitchen. His method was to leave the place cautiously, leaving his victims in doubt and misunderstanding. In the early 80s, Joseph James started killing his rape victims. His first victims were a couple who were walking with their dog in the area where he committed his crimes. The police assumed this as the hands of East Area Rapists behind the murder. D'Angelo often murdered his victims by shooting or clubbing them. He received the name the original Night Stalker during that period. It had been a challenge for the police department because, for over 40 years, the police were powerless to capture this monster behind the repugnant crimes that terrified the public of California. DNA testing from numerous scenes of crimes led them to the deduction that East Area Rapists and the original Night Stalker were the same people. To upsurge public awareness about this mass murderer, the crime writer Michelle McNamara invented the name Golden State Killer. On April 24th in 2018, he was arrested in connection with crimes spanning over several decades. He was charged with 8 counts of first degree murder and found to be linked with 13 other murders, more than 50 rapes and more than 100 burglaries. Numerous of the earlier crimes committed by him were enclosed under the law of limitations. It was a DNA examination to help the police in classifying the suspect. Police kept an attentive eye on D'Angelo for four months before the arrest. They composed his DNA sample from a tissue in his garbage can, as well as from the door grip of his car. Investigators managed to gather his DNA from items he had thrown and took DNA to the lab for examination. A day later, the DNA was found to be a straight match to that at the killing scenes in Ventura and in the Orange Counties. The detection provided devastating evidence that he was the murderer. Authorities decided they would inspect the second sample to safeguard they had the right person. On another Monday evening, the results from his second testing proved to be astronomical indication that he was the criminal that they had been searching for. Finally, he was charged in August 2018 with 13 related kidnapping cases and abduction effort cases. So guys, how was the story? Drop your comment and let me know which part of this video you find the most thrilling. And if you liked the video, then please make sure to like and subscribe. See you next time.